I want you all to start by doing me a favor and remember back to the last time you managed to beat a kid at a video game. I see a couple of hands. So how did they get so good at playing video games? Okay, so my name is Gabriel Yanagihara. I am a gamer and educator who teaches video game programming and animation at Iulani School's Sullivan Center for Innovation and Leadership. There, um, as a gamer and educator, I'm always super passionate about understanding how people learn to play video games. And in that process, I wanted to conduct an experiment to see if it was possible to understand the process which people are learning and see if it was possible to harness that towards a more academic subject. So for my experiment, I chose the game Minecraft. And it's super popular amongst my students, but for the many reasons that I picked it, is that it's a huge cultural force. A recent analysis came out showing that on YouTube alone, Minecraft videos have been shown or viewed more than 47 billion times. For you know, a sense of scale, that's more than 10 times the total viewership of all 49 Super Bowls combined. Minecraft is essentially digital Legos. It's our younger generation's version of creating and being explor explorative in their learning. It doesn't hold your hand. There's no lesson plan. There's no instruction for how to play Minecraft. It kind of puts you in the game world, inside this massive world, and you have to teach yourself how to play. And that's exactly what my students do. They teach themselves, and they become such masters of it that they can teach other people how to do it, and often do. Can you imagine if all of our subjects were like that? Imagine if the entire <laughs> subject of algebra just taught itself. I'm completely out of a job. So for this experiment, I wanted to take the learning and passion people have for video games and harness it towards an academic field. So I wanted to see if we could use the story of the Hukulea and the worldwide void. So um, for those of us on the mainland, that's going to be ancient Hawaiian history. So as an educator, I'm not a content area expert of Hawaiian history by any means. Um, but, as a, but I decided to become a facilitator to learning as opposed to the gatekeeper to facts and knowledge where I had the designated answer key and all my students had to just listen to me. So to conduct the experiment, I got students together for seven hours on a Saturday and I told them this challenge. So I want you guys to understand how you guys learn to play video games and then I want you guys to survive in Minecraft on isolated islands the same way that the ancient Hawaiians did. Then I want you guys to build and design your own voyaging canoes the same way the ancient Hawaiians did. So we got together for the uh, workshop. What I wanted them to do is I really wanted to just talk to them and understand the process that they went through to learn how to play Minecraft. So each kid made a unique list of all the different ways that they had picked up all the different skills that they played in Minecraft. YouTube, Twitch, Let's Plays, um, even just reading through the wiki. I told them to take that same list that they had made and try to Go out for a couple hours, three, four hours, and just teach yourself about Hawaiian history. Use all the skills and tools that you learned when you were doing your own in Minecraft and use those towards Hawaiian history. And what I was really trying to discover is whether they're just memorizing the answers or memorizing the facts or if they're internalizing it and were able to take what they learned and do something actionable with it. We had them build and design in Minecraft world their own voyaging canoes and surviving on the islands. So let's take a look at some of the things that some of my students made. So here we see the back end of the Hokulea with the, uh, with the iconic solar panels. And right behind it, we have another do double hold one that one of my students made. Here we have a double outrigger canoe with a very interesting design. And you can see on the island, we have some of the habitation that they have. Here, we have a double hull with the royal colors. So these are students that came in, taught themselves all about this, and then built it up to it. Here you can see one of the islands that they inhabited. So in Minecraft, it starts off as just a barren island. And then the students, as they build and design on it, they built in all these different things. So you can see here uh, on the yellow, that's the houses or hale, built in the same structure that they would in ancient Hawaii. We have the fish pond. We have, uh, you can see back there, the taro patches. You can look all the way back and see the uh, heiau, or that temple in the background. So, what, this, what I feel the students took away from all this is they were able to take a copy of the game world with them 
and they were able to harness that power, that passion they have to teach themselves about something else. And what was great for me as an educator is seeing that they wanted to learn more about Hawaiian culture. So they're going to go off and they'll teach themselves everything that they want to know. For me as an educator, what I really wanted to see and what I wanted to do is see how I can change my teaching methods now to match what the kids want to use. So the methods that the kids want to learn, I'll use those in my class. So in closing, I just want to say, I want you guys to go home tonight, and I want you guys to all try and play Minecraft, or if you don't have Minecraft, another game. Not because I want you guys to all just play video games with me, but it'd be wonderful if I could show each of you the experience of learning something on your own and be very aware of the process in which you do it. Allow yourselves and your students time and freedom to be self-directed in your learning. Maybe they'll beat you in algebra the same way they beat you in Minecraft. Thank you.